You are about to watch a collaborative role play brought to you by MV Mediation, the Martha's Vineyard Public Charter School, and MVTV Martha's Vineyard Television. I'm Jade and I play Jay. Hi, I'm Becca and I play one of the mediators. I'm Mark and I'm playing one of the mediators. I'm Bruno and I'm doing Nick. Thank you for coming to mediation today. My name is Mark and this is Becca. We are your mediators today. Mediation is a way to resolve conflicts in a neutral manner. Mediation is voluntary. Parties that are participating can withdraw at any time. Mediation is confidential. Whatever said in this room cannot be brought outside the room or used in court. Mediation is a self-determined process. Me Becca and I are here to help facilitate an agreement that you two will decide upon. Uh, medi me and Becca are neutral third parties. We are not to take any sides. And any questions about how mediation works? No. All right, so if you can sign. Hold on. <laughs> we don't have a pen. Points and then. Thank you. Do we I don't believe this. Just leave that there? Yes. Okay. So, normally we start off with the person that came to us with a problem, but since you two have come here together, is it okay if we start with one of you? No. Yeah. If your name, are your names, so your names are Nick and Jay, is it okay if we use your first names? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nick, can you start off? Sure. So, we were playing basketball in the court, and... It was like classic basketball, 1v1, and uh, it was like normal, like nothing happened, like funny jokes and everything. And then I was like, I went to shoot a three, and then Jay went to block my shot. She slapped me really hard, and then I got mad, and we got, we got she started yelling, and then I started yelling, and then we got in a big fight, and then... And then, like, after, like, maybe 10 minutes, our neighbor broke it up, and yeah. Okay. So, as I understand it, you guys are friends. You're playing basketball. Jay blocked a shot, and then you started physically fighting until a neighbor broke it up. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yep. Do you have anything else to add before we hear Jay's side? No. Okay, okay Jay, do you want to share with us? Well, we were playing basketball. And um, he went to go shoot a three, and I blocked his shot, and I accidentally slapped him. And then he started getting mad because he was saying that I purposely slapped him. So we got into a physical fight, and then a neighbor did come break it up and bring us home to our parents. So there was a fight on the basketball court. That's what happened? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was your friendship like before this event? We were good friends for like four years. Yeah, well, we used to hang out a lot, and he's just been getting really distant, so I had a lot of anger. Distant how? I don't know, he kept like blowing me off. I can't believe Jay wanted to come to our party, that's so embarrassing. Yes. Seriously, like... She's the worst. I mean, we should give a chance to her, you know? No. What's she talking about? Hey guys! Can I sit with you guys? Get out of here. No, it's full. Oh, maybe next time, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so we haven't really been hanging out. What are your thoughts about this, Nick? Um, I went to like a party, like maybe one week ago, mm -hmm. and, and I taught inviting her, but it wasn't like my party to so, like invite people like I know, and those people don't really like her, you know? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Jay, what are your thoughts on this? Well, we had plans that night, and I asked when he was coming over, and he said, sorry, going to a party, talk to you later. And um, then I asked, oh, can I come? And I just got left on red, 
and um, I kind of went to go, I tracked his location, and I found the party, and um, I was looking through the window, and he was partying with these other friends that I know from school, I've seen them around, and you know, I was trying to get his attention, but he wasn't looking, and then one of them saw me, and they came over and shut the blinds on me, so yeah, he blew me off that night, we had plans. Wow, and how are you feeling about that? I'm really sad. Do you think that had anything to do with what happened on the court the other day? Let's play around the road. All right. So, uh, I saw you went to a party. Yeah. What party? Well, why, why didn't you invite me? Oh, no. Reasons, you know. Well, I kind of wanted to come. We had plans. What plans? Well, we were going to play video games with each other. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Well, why'd you cancel? Because I went to the party with my best friends. But I thought you I was your best friend. Well, I was there, right? And then they, I was like, oh, can I invite Jay? And they're like, no. Because they don't like you, you know? Do they even know who I am? Yeah. Well, I want to the post. Instagram pictures. I don't really post on Instagram. Well, they saw it. You turned up well. Oh. But... I wanted to come. Well, maybe an audio. But we always hang out and play video games together. We do it some other time. Well, it was our plan. You just canceled. I'm sorry about that. You left me hanging. That kind of hurt my feelings. Well, I have other friends too, you know. I don't want to! Maybe. Yeah. When did the fight happen? Four days ago? Yeah, four days. Four days. Have you guys been in contact since then? No. no. And how has that been working for you two? It's been tough at school since we're in the same classes. Mm. And their families are like are really close friends. And we got invited to play on the same basketball team. Mm. But our coach doesn't want us on it if we keep fighting. Okay. So is that an important part of why you're here today? Your families are friends. Yeah. Yeah. The basketball team, you both want to play on it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think you guys could do moving forwards that would allow you to play, for example, on the same basketball team? Well, I'd really appreciate if you wouldn't blow me off. Or, you know, like, make new plans. Whoa, hold up. Because our plans weren't that, like, big a deal. Not going to lie. Well, we were just playing games. Okay, and right, eating. Right, let's play. not interrupt each other if we can. Let's let one person speak before mm -hmm. we Jay interrupt. Jay was speaking. You want to go ahead, Jay? Well, those plans, we play video games with each other every Saturday. And, you know, I have nothing else to do because... Well, make friends. Please let Please don't talk. Interrupt. You'll get your turn in a second. Well, I didn't have plans because, you know, Nick, he's a, he's a really good friend. But now I'm kind of seeing that I don't think he is anymore. And, like, he just blew me off. Th those plans were really important to me. <laughs> so it's sounding to me... Like you're more upset about your plans being canceled than you are about Nick spending time with other people. Is that right? No, I'm really, really mad about that. You're mad about both? Yeah, because his new friends, they mock me. And they're really mean to me. And they throw <laughs> eggs at me. <laughs> Is that true, Nick? Yeah. And what, how does it make you feel when you see your friends treating Jay like that? I don't know. I try to stop it sometimes, but like, they just don't hear me. And yeah. You laugh along with them. I'm sorry. That was nice. You guys <coughs> talked it out. An apology on Nick's side. What, what do you guys want moving forwards? What would make you feel better about this situation? Mm. <sighs> I would want a sorry from her. Why would she slap me? And, uh, and yeah. Okay, so Nick would like an apology for being hit. 
Do you think that's fair, Jay? Oh yeah, wait. And we could have talked it out mm. instead okay. of slapping. In me. the future, you'd like to talk. Okay, first. So, yeah. What do you guys think the future, future, future relationship? How do you think this could work? I don't know. We, as she said, we got invited to a AAU game practices, nice. and I don't know. Maybe she can help me with my threes, and she can help, and I can help her with her layups. I'd like to agree to that. Okay. How do you guys think the family relations could be like moving forward? Well, our families know that we're fighting, and I feel like when we're together, they wouldn't let us fight anyways. So you think that you guys will be able to, like, be friendly with each other during family yeah. events? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, what if, can we address the, um, the feelings of being left out and getting excluded from things? Who would like to start? Um, well, I'd really appreciate being invited to hang out with your friends, or at least hanging out with you once a week. Maybe maybe we can go um, play some basketball together with your new friends. I guess, but like, I don't know. They don't like you that much. But maybe like, if we started hanging out, they'd like me. I don't know, probably not. They'd see how cool I am. Is there some sort of arrangement is there a way that you would be happy to spend time with Jay, with or without the other friends involved? I don't know. I really like playing basketball with her. Okay. And you like that too, Jay? Yeah. Okay. How, so you can, if I'm understanding this correctly, you guys believe you can have friendly relations going forward in family events, being able to make it function. You will work together on the AAU basketball team so you can work on helping each other out on three points and layups. And so you both agree that you can get along? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we can both, we all agree on that you can work together and that your future relations will be good and this will be put behind you guys mm -hmm. to move forward in your relationship. Yeah. So, when, all right, do you guys want to have a written agreement or a verbal agreement? I like it to be written. You would like it to be written? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Um, is there anything you'd like to add to what Mark just said before we write it all up? I know apologies were mentioned. Um, communication in the future. Yeah. Oh yeah, and mm -hmm. I would want her to make some other friends because Cause like, you know, I can't like be her only friend and like mm. she wants to do everything with me and I want to be like with other friends and yeah. So you're feeling a lot of pressure? Yeah. Do you understand that? Yep. Uh, I just don't have an, uh, any other friends. I'm trying to make some. Well, I don't have any other options. Yeah. For now, it's okay. You can always move towards that, right? Sure. That's also something that you would want. But in terms of your relationship, if Nick is feeling a lot of pressure, but you still want to hang out, maybe there's some sort of in-between that you guys could have, where it's not all the time, but it's still some of the time you're not being left on red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That works. 
That works. Yep. Okay. Okay, so I got a an agreement written up here on this tablet. So it says you two both agree to still hang out with each other, but Nick will in include Jay with his other friends a few times a week when playing basketball or hanging out. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jay agrees to not get mad when Nick spends time with his other friends. Mm -hmm. Nick agrees not to change plans with Jay unless he includes him in the new plans. Do I have that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Both Nick and Jay agree to join the AAU team and agree to get along and not fight. Nick and Jay will practice basketball together to work on their skills together to get better. Nick and Jay believe they can get along when their families get together. Do, how does that all sound? That sounds good. good. Does it seem like we got everything? Yeah. Okay. One last thing. Okay. Nick, I'm sorry. Thanks. You're Appreciate welcome. that. All right, so if I can, like, just have you sign here. All right, thank you guys for coming to mediation today. You've worked hard today, so I'm so happy that we could come to a resolution and an agreement. Yep, well done. Thank Good you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. well for you during the mediation? Okay, so what I think went well for myself was um, I think I was able to summarize okay well, but I feel like I could have probably raised my voice probably a bit more and maybe just talk a bit more than I did, a, than I, did I think. Yeah. Rebecca, what do you think Mark did well as a mediator? Come I here. think Mark did well at definitely summarizing, remaining very calm even when the other two were getting a little more amped up and kind of refocusing us on the main points of the agreements and the argument that we were talking about. And Becca, what do you think you did well as a mediator, as a co-mediator? Um, I think that what I did well as a co-mediator, um, well, what I was most worried about was knowing when to talk between Mark and I. And I think it actually flowed very well. Like when I started to kind of <laughs> lose track of what I should say, then Mark jumped in. Or Mark would look over at me, and I'd be like, oh, it's my turn to talk. And I think we were understanding each other pretty well. Thank you. OK, Jay, as a participant in the mediation process, how did you think the mediators did? Well, um, as a participant in this mediation, I think that um, the mediators they did pretty good. They got all the points right and they summarized really well. So I think they did really good on that. And um, they did ask a lot of good questions to get information out of us and really understand the story. When the mediators were asking you questions, how did you, how did you feel? Well, um, when they were asking the questions, I don't know, I felt like, I felt like they asked good questions because <laughs> they, <laughs> because I was listening well, and, um, <laughs> they, we were listening. Yeah, oh, yeah, and they were, <laughs> they were listening, and, um, I don't know, I just felt like, they really, the questions that they asked really related and they got more information from asking little things. Good. And Bruno, <coughs> when the mediators... Nick, 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 Nick. Nick. 
neck and <laughs> neck when the mediators asked questions that touched on emotions how what was going through your mind I don't know. When they were asking me good questions, I was like, I don't know. I was just like, I was like, I was like thinking about it and then trying to like say everything that happened, I guess. Yeah. Nick, what did you feel about the emotions that Jay had about your friendship? Um, I feel that Jay, his reactions were really bad and that she's just like dramatic. During the mediation, were you glad that the mediators provided you with an opportunity to talk about your emotions? And they asked me about my emotions and the story. I was like, it's like good to hear that because they're like including me and how I feel about it after I got slapped on the face. Throughout the process of mediation, did you feel like you were in control of the decisions or the agreements? Either one of you. Yeah. During the mediation, I felt like um, we were both in control of how it would end yeah. and how the situations went and how dramatic we made them all. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the mediators, they just went along with it. And yeah. And Jay, do you think that you can use these skills that you've learned in real life? Um, I think that I can use these mediation skills at school and um, at home because they just really help with problems and I don't know it's just once you get the hang of it it's really simple and it's, to be honest it's really fun <laughs> because it works so 10 out of 10 I recommend okay. and Mark same question yeah. Do you think that there are skills that you've learned, mediator skills or conflict resolution skills that you can apply in your everyday life? Well, the skills that I feel like were, I just, I've used skills like this in the past. I feel like I just worked on them a, a little bit more than I normally do because normally I use conflict resolution and different listening and speaking strategies to resolve dramas, conflicts, fights here and there in different places that I'm at. But I feel like this is another good skill to have to be able to stay as a neutral third party and being able to help people come to an agreement. And Bruno, do you think that the conflict resolution skills that you picked up during this class or something that you can apply in your outside life? Yeah, I think I can use this um, like at my house maybe because I don't know like my sister and stuff I don't know and probably in school there's a lot of stuff in school that happens <laughs> and yeah Right. What did you think of the program as a whole? It's the first time this has been offered as an experiential learning thing. What did any of you think of it as a whole, as an offering? It had a lot of different, uh, the way I thought of it as an offering was it had a lot of different skills for us to learn. We had a lot of different games, team building exercises and stuff. So I feel like ultimately it was a very productive and beneficial um, EL to have in place of some others. Yeah, and we can teach our friends how to do this so we can create a peaceful community. <laughs> and true. what was your experience like being here, part of the studio and the TV? 
and having that as part of the, the program? Um, I speak for myself saying this, but my experience here at this MVTV studio was, um, it's, it's a new experience for me because I've never been put into an environment like this. Yeah. Maybe Did it enhance yeah. your learning experience? Maybe. I feel like it's a lot more of a wide open area. It has, it's pretty straightforward of where things are, so it's not confusing. Yeah, it definitely got me out of my comfort zone because I've never really been comfortable on camera. <laughs> you also all started engaging a lot more with the whole mediation process once we kind of started yeah. filming and really getting into the roles. I'm really into my role. <laughs> yeah. You gotta learn how to drop it once we leave this door. No way. <laughs> Please. No, Do you see this as being an offering that should happen again in the future? I feel like yeah. it would be a good experience for some people to have if this was an, yeah. ex an offering or EL that was offered in a later date. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else anyone would like to share? Words. Anything Rah. that I should say? I, mean, I feel do. like we've all done pretty well. We all stepped out of our comfort zone to do something that we have yet to do. We spent two cycles here, so I say three. We've two. spent three cycles? Two, no, two cycles. Oh. Um, then we've um I feel like we've done pretty well we've saying that we've been here getting through here to getting th here through all the kerfuffles and all <laughs> the um, the setbacks and all the holdups, I feel like we've done pretty well. Yeah. All the, I feel like we had a little trouble with the script and stuff, but I feel like ultimately we, we pulled it off. I agree. Yeah. Proud of you guys. And proud thank of you, you to too. both of you yeah, we are and to proud. Michelle. We're proud of you. <laughs>